All right, people. Hello. Welcome. Welcome back to the Cup Chasers podcast. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. We have the penultimate weekend of the Premier League coming up. Lots of very important games. Some uh, games are literally being played on the beach and uh, others have games to uh, things to play for. Uh, hopefully there's a whole bunch of goals. So let's get a whole bunch of likes on the video. Subscribe yeah. to the channel. Get that notification bell on. All right. You know me. I like to start with chronological order. I believe the first game uh, actually does have something to play for in it. It is the Tottenham Hotspur versus where at? Where I've totally lost my scores. Where am I at here? Brentford. Brentford. There it is. Do we think uh, the Ivan Tony list? Brentford, the bees are going to be able to sting the chickens, the peacocks at home. Who uh, are they? Are they trying to make seventh place, or are they uh, maybe don't want to focus on Europe in one game at a time next year, next season? I think Levy's got to. I mean, Levy's going to tell him to go for for Europe. I mean, I mean, Kane will score. He'll score. More sure. detrimental. It's more detrimental for them than it is us. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a rough rough time at Spurs. Uh, thankful to see, and uh, I've gone with a two-one Brentford victory. It's respectable. I, I just think I just think that uh, I don't like Spurs. No, I think that Spurs are just they're they're stuttering over the line here. They're kind of limping over, and Kane's the only one doing anything. Uh, still week in week out. Scoring goals, um, trying to boost, try to boost that price tag. Uh, I guess I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not sure if he's hey. gonna leave or not. He definitely should. I agree. But uh, quick, quick question for you guys because I don't. I I could Google it. I know that. But um, did Kane come from the Spurs Academy? Yes, I believe so. That's where. That's where this. That's where this undying loyalty has come from. Well, I don't know, man. He was a boyhood <laughs> Arsenal fan, so... I yeah, he know. was. Hold on, I'll tell you. Then how do you second. go to the Spurs Academy? What the... Yo, you would be Arsenal play for Spurs in a heartbeat. I would never... Yes, yeah, you would. would. Spurs, yes, you never. would. Get out of here. I'd play for Spurs. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. I'd play for Spurs. If Spurs offered you a professional contract... Of course, I don't care who it is. Yeah, no, I yeah. don't care who it is. I'll play for Millwall. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Who does Spurs playing again? I can't remember. Brentford. Brentford. Oh yeah. Now uh, that I've, but, I was, but so, I was asking if Kane Spurs had went. come from the Spurs academy. So he came. He went through a bunch. He went through Ridgeway Rovers for two years. Then he went to Arsenal for a year. Wow. They went back to Ridgeway Rovers. Then he was at Watford for a year, and then he's been at. Uh, and then he went to Tottenham for five years. So I guess you would say he went through the the. Uh, Spurs Academy, yeah. Since that's where he found his home, I yeah. see. So right. that's where the law. I was just, I had read something and I real quick, but I didn't want to be like one of the Todd Boyley moments saying that, you know, um, yeah. who did he say came through? Oh, yeah. He was talking all, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, just name trying, name trying to claim names. Salah. Yeah, Mo Salah. Claim- yeah, Mo Salah <laughs> came through our academy. Yeah, anyway, yeah. no, I didn't want to be like that for them, oh, but. Yeah. Um, I was wondering where the undying love come from, but I do have Brentford winning this 2-0. 2-0. I think Tottenham is just think out. Kane's going to get one, eh? I think they're checked out, man. Yeah, I can agree with that. They sure. lost their cult. As Kane said in an interview, they lost their culture. What culture was What culture was that? That's what he said after Posh left. They lost their culture. They're winning. They're winning mentality, and Conte was the only one to bring it back. And now that he's gone, it was there in that Conte leaving. He said that we shouldn't have fired Posh, shouldn't have fired Conte, and now we have nothing to win for. Well, there you I go. What's the saying, that. Patrick? Mm-hmm. I, I struggle with this one actually um, because I do think Harry Kane scores. Um, Wisa has looked good. Uh, Mbobo has looked good. Brentford. You know, Brentford gets up for these these derbies for sure. Um, I I don't want to go with you as well, Je- uh, Jake, because I don't want to be that guy. 
but I I don't I don't think there's a draw. Um, I I think Brentford's just better, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go two one, Brentford. Fair enough. Two one Brentford. I see your strategy. I see you. Despite <laughs> no, players. trust me, it's no strategy. I seriously have struggled with this. Like I'm writing down my scores, and I'm like, I this feel is you. One this I one really one don't want to pick. What do you think, Lewis? One one draw. One one draw. The drama of Spurs needing to get the second one because I think I said what in the chat I said Spurs have to lose twice for yes. them to not make seventh. So yes. I think they draw this one, and then. Um, well, that was pretty much a clinch it for him, right? That seventh, yeah, I think so. Uh, just because, what, yeah, from because the of the way the fixtures, the way because Liverpool are playing Villa, is what it is. But but yeah, if yeah. Brentford wins this, they're one point back from Spurs. Right. So Spurs have to win the next game. They have yeah, to. Win. They have to. Yeah, but then Spurs played like don't they play Southampton on the last day or something? Doesn't matter. <laughs> It, uh, pretty- they play. I had a bottle. I showed a bottle to you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. They play Leeds at Leeds. Yeah, Leeds. Well, hey, Leeds might be desperate. Leeds might. Yeah, be they might be. Though. So it could it could get. And again, Spurs have to win. They can't like draw two in a row. They have to win one of them. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, next game up, the Cherries hosting. The greatest team to ever travel to Bournemouth, Manchester United, uh, looking to stay in that top four race, um, tied on points with Villa, one point in front of Liverpool. Um, yeah, I just don't know what Bournemouth are going to bring to this one on the beach. They're safe. They went life on the beach. Good to go. They got their cherries in their pina coladas, doing uh, you know, sipping mai tais, what have you. Your drink of choice. Um. Yeah, I just think, man, you are going to be too much. They still got it to play for. Bournemouth really don't. Uh, so uh, I'll let you say your pr- prediction, Patrick, without me saying mine first. <laughs> That's all good. Uh, I think that uh, – I don't know if Rashford's going to play in this one, um, but it, even if he does, uh, even if he doesn't, I think United win this 2-0. They gotta have it. I mean, they really gotta have it at this point. If they don't, they're 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 not in Champions League next year. That means yeah, Jake said the same thing. Look at my screen, man. I didn't show my screen. <laughs> did I? Seriously, you said <laughs> two deals as well. Yep. Oh. I knew as soon as he made that face, he said the same thing. <sighs> total, it's a total tactic Patrick has here, and that and he's practiced that look right there in the mirror of innocence. Uh, Dude, I'm looking at the table right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I can Pat, share my screen, here's, I'm here's the rip. Here's the rip. Patrick's gotten Lauren to be like, "Yo, what's Jake's predictions?" <laughs> oh no, she's, she's not on my it. side. She's <laughs> not on my side. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh man. What are you thinking, Lewis? One nil to the United. One nil to United. To the Red I, Devils. I, yeah, and I, I think they'll make the – because that will put them what – will that put them two points in front of New um, – No, They're tied. Uh, They're tied. It would tie – well, they would they could go three points ahead of, of Newcastle. Newcastle, but Newcastle um, – they're, they're tied on points, but Newcastle's up by 22 goals. Some ridiculous amount of goals, yeah. Actually, Newcastle – played today yeah, so yeah they did so they're uh they're they three points point. up with but they oh that's four. right yeah i haven't refreshed yeah 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 because yeah and i thought so because i was like newcastle won four one yeah so they blasted game. they blasted brighton well, right. it was terrible oh. in extra time they scored two quick ones <laughs> yeah. mashed um well yeah well let's go ahead and uh let's get your prediction x for manchester united bournemouth Right quick. Uh, 2-0. No, actually, I'll go 2-1. I'll be different. Two Wait, one. what did Lewis say? What did, we have to say this. 1-0. One, one, oh, yeah, I'll go 2-1. Because it's me versus the, Lewis and the, Jake you know, versus Patrick in this league right now. Yeah. That's how it's all – that's how it's formulated. Me and Lewis have no shot at winning, but we are – Perfect. Other, yeah. There you go. Well, uh, before we talk about Brighton and Southampton, I think it's a good spot to uh, – 
get a little discussion about the Newcastle Brighton game today. Finished four to one. Shocking. Shocked Brighton Newcastle. didn't show up for this. Uh, I was. They, they showed. They. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. It was two no, one. It, it was two one into the eighty seventh minute or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. It was like the eighty second minute or something like that. But and I didn't was, have Newcastle. And they had sixty percent possession too. I didn't see Newcastle losing this game when I was watching this game. No, uh, no. If, if you see the last two goals, they were literally just uh, uh, Brent. I mean, not Brentford. Brighton were like out of place. Like the last one. Uh, he was in a, the, the the last defender was completely lost, and it was a, a an excellent through ball gone. And mm. the the fourth goal was just they were just bad defending that then because they switched yeah. off. It, yeah. it, it, the score line doesn't tell the truth about not the, at all. No. The second half, Brighton, Brighton really brought it in the second half. Yeah, they did. They, Brighton did not play as well as they did against y'all. No, no, no. no. That's the Brighton I thought was going to come to this game because if you you have to play – we've seen Newcastle play this game all season. Well, and They weren't as bad as they were versus Everton, though. Yeah, and it, yeah. but it was nervy. You could see that it was really nervy for Newcastle while it was 2-1 until they got that third goal. It was yeah. super nervy. Yeah. It was, it was I, much closer than the scoreline. I was, I'll give you that. But like I said, I just – I never felt when I was watching this game that Newcastle was going to lose this game. No, I didn't think that. I agree with you. I, yeah. I didn't think that. Yeah. yeah, it was a very high, very high pace, high energy game, as you would expect from those two teams. Um, none of us predicted the. None of us predicted that one at all. Uh, X, you actually got the only points uh, of the four of us. The only I one that got points. Line, right? Well, you said two one to two Newcastle. One. Yeah. Um, and so you got a couple points up on that one. I'm going to be honest. I thought that I had a uh, 2-1 Newcastle, and I looked at my sheet, and I was like, oh, crap, I have a 2-1 Brighton. So there for a while, it was like, I was like, okay, I need Brighton to get a goal, and then for them to get another goal. And then I'm like, no, I don't need Brighton to get a goal because then Jake will get all the points. And so I just started, I started pulling for Newcastle. Yeah, I started pulling for Newcastle. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the 70th minute, it was like, crap, I got to pull for Newcastle now. <laughs> yeah, nice. Tunes. Yeah. Well, um, looking ahead, Brighton are hosting Southampton. Another one of those games where uh, only one team really needs anything from it, and uh, it's at the Amex. Um, I just don't see Southampton even bringing anything. To be honest with you, I think Brighton will be up for it. I've gone for a three-nil Brighton victory. Uh, over the Saints, I just don't think. Good grief! He's got three nil. <laughs> Stop, it. Stop it! Oh no! Yes. No, don't say yes. yes. Not good. <laughs> hilarious. Um, I'm in the neutral but, here on this one. This is yeah, hilarious. But yeah, I just don't think Southampton are gonna bring anything at all. Well, I mean, why would they? Yeah. Yeah, they they only have one thing to play for, and that's hopefully catching the eye of a different team. Get by me before I have to go play. I mean, in the... Like, is <laughs> yeah. Theo, is Theo Walcott gonna get a deal somewhere, or is Theo about to be playing in the championship? Mm. Playing in the championship, man. Mm. That's it's sad. a long road. I'm, man, I'm I'm still a fan. I like Theo, uh, and I hope. I hope maybe he gets another deal somewhere. You know, hey, we'll we'll bring him back to Arsenal if you want to train with us for a while. <laughs> Get a train. Ronaldo at Madrid, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but no, Brighton are going to be too much for sure, yeah. especially at the MX. It could it could get out of hand, really. Uh, you know. So what do you say, X? What do you got? Let's go three one. 3-1. James Ward-Prowse with the free kick. A little free kick action, yeah. yeah. Never, never, I, never, almost, never I, almost, I almost went with like four or five, but I'm like, you know what? Brighton might pull off a little it bit. They'll pull off a little bit. A little, little bit. Take a rest bit. At yeah, a little bit. <laughs> What'd you think, Lewis? I'm going to go with the trend that's in my brain. 1-0 Brighton. 1-0 Brighton. 
really take the oh, foot off the gas. Uh, Lewis says it go with many golds this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I since we since we just talked about Newcastle Brighton, we can go on to the Newcastle game and uh, Leicester desperate, desperate, but it's at St James's Park. Wrong time, wrong place, baby. Wrong time, wrong place. And Sorry Newcastle about needed to Newcastle right. want to secure. Sorry uh, about your foxes. Newcastle want to secure top four as well. So. I mean, ah. did you see the tweet from James <laughs> Madison? Did you see the tweet from James Madison about uh, his boyhood team fighting to get into the uh, to the the Premier League, talking about Coventry City? And I immediately, my first thought was, "Oh, he's trying to get a contract for a Premier <laughs> League team." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw that he was that he's already being linked with Newcastle. Yeah, I saw. I've 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 heard that rumor as well. Um, yeah, that makes sense to me, to be honest with you. Um, but because uh, I don't see Lester even getting close in this game, I don't see him even laying a glove. And uh, it could be good night, good night, Lester, right here for this one. Um, Patrick, you got to say it before I say mine. I went three-one Newcastle. Finally, a different one. <laughs> okay, okay. This might be the one, boys. Finally. I just need a shutout. <laughs> I need a shutout. I said 3-0 to the tune. See, I, I was thinking the shutout, but I'm like, you know what? Vardy gets hopped up on them Red Bulls. You never know. You what? never know. Exactly. Vardy won't have any space to run into. James Madison, <laughs> you know, going to hit a other, you know, a worldy, you know, and it's like. Because he deserves to get me now. On the English please, spot. Yeah. I beg so he's you. Try, he's trying to get a contract with Coventry. Yeah. Come get me now, please. I beg you. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, no, it's just Leicester is a desperate team. Um, desperate teams, of course, let leave space, but desperate teams also can scare some teams too. So I do, I do think that they get a goal. But Newcastle yeah. just wake up and they just beat them to death. Mm-hmm. You see that Joe Willett got hurt? Really? Yeah, That's he sad. looked like he pulled his hammy. So I many hammies it. this season. Another man. one. Absolutely. What you saying, Lewis? Four to two. Holy A barnstorm. <laughs> yes. That's a fun one. I uh, love it. I think love it's it. four to two Newcastle. Um, the reason I think the two gets scored is because it's a really quick turnaround from Thursday to Monday. And I mean, it's a normal turnaround, but I still think it's quick. Uh, and just in general, I think they'll be they'll be watching the other games. I think New, I mean, uh, Leicester will want to score, but I think the the two goals they score will be like late, and the game will be over, so the the two goals won't matter. And I also say this about Newcastle: they there was a lot of emotion in that game today. Uh, that was the one thing I really noticed there at the end, a lot of emotion, a lot of like, oh, we're going to actually do it. We're going to do, you know, we're going to finish top four, it's kind of that realization. setting in for them. And, you know, they they do this one, they should they should be good. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. What's your score, X? 2-0 Newcastle. 2-0 to the Magpies, Magpies, however you say that. To the Pies. There you go. 